All right, I'm going to take him out of the uh, rig. I've got to finish filling in underneath here and do some stuff like in areas I can't see. Otherwise, uh, other than laying it down and working on it. So I'm going to put it down here. I had one of these uh, pieces of foam come in a package. This is really soft foam, so it uh, gives a little. And I'm going just to lay him down in there. And that, so I can work on him without damaging what I've already worked on. All right, be right back. Time to play with some clay. This allows me to uh, get under the jacket. That's usually in the dark. And uh, work on it. Also, I gotta fill, finish off this uh, vest. I wanted to do this before I start working on his boots because my hands already bumping into the uh, area where the boot would be and it would have been detrimental to the uh, detail of the boot. Okay, I'm just putting some texture into the uh, vest a little bit. I'm just going to let you know that I'm not going to be here tomorrow. Just don't count on me being here on Fridays. It's a day that I do a lot of running around taking care of things that I didn't take care of while I was down here in the studio. Oh, this makes it so much easier. This is why you don't ever throw away foam packing that you can envision as being something you can use. I've got a uh, photograph of an uh, old pair of boots from the uh, 19th century. A lot of modern day cowboy boots are pointed in the toe well the old ones were more rounded in the toe I'm trying to do this so you can see it without my hands in the way but it's going to be really hard to do that I'm afraid I got the boots on my uh, monitor here, my iPad, that I'm going by. Now the upper part of the boot's going to be covered with the uh, shap. And so I'm not going to worry too much about the upper part, but I'm just more a little more interested in getting the uh, lower part right.
I'm just taking a measure of the two boots. They gotta be the same width, and they are. And they gotta be the same length, and they are. Because I have to add the heel, and I haven't done that yet, so it'll actually work out. I didn't show a lot of what I did on this foot because I already showed it on the other foot. This is something that I've always struggled with when I've put a cowboy on a horse or anybody on a horse because I've always done the figure on the horse and it's really really impossible to work on the inside of the foot because it's right next to the horse or in an area that's where it's really hard to uh, get to and this is so much better to have it on this jig now I know his legs look awful thick and I'm gonna work on that that's gonna be something I'll be doing when I do the shat to finish the shafts next week I'm not gonna put spurs on his feet yet because quite honestly those will get knocked all around as I work on the uh, piece those will be the last thing I do I'm going to have at least the uh, structure of the spur on the boot itself, but as far as the spur, that won't be added till last. It just makes sense not to have something that's going to stick out there that's going to be easily banged on and ruined. Okay, I'm going to put him on the saddle real quick. Okay, I'm going to put the uh, stirrups on just to see how it looks. Yeah, that's going to work out just fine. I think I'm far enough along that I can actually put him on the horse and start working on him there. So I think I'm going to leave him on the horse for now. Alright, I'll pick this up next week and uh, start adding the, uh, well I gotta do the belly strap, the uh, rear cinch, and uh, I'll do that next week. I got a lot of cleaning up on the horse to do, but I'm happy the way this is turning out, and uh, I think it's going to be a great piece. I think what I might do is I'll take a little bit of the clay off and I'm going to use regular clay. I'm going to go ahead and paint the uh, cowboy and the saddle next week. I got some new paint made up because the old paint was, well, it was just running out. <laughs> I had the paint for almost 10 years, so it was about time to get new paint. But I, can, I think you can see how filling in underneath the uh, jacket doesn't hurt a damn thing. All right, everybody, have a great night. I'll uh, see you next week.
I'm liking the way it looks. He's almost flying out of the uh, saddle, which is a good thing. And uh, I'm going to try to make it so they can take him off the saddle and cast him separate, which would make it a lot easier and a lot less expensive to cast. All right, everybody. Have a great weekend. See you next week. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.